Hi, I am Aliza Tanbeer from Skillcurb. In this video, you will learn how PySpark works in local client mode which is the Spark shell and how the drivers and executors are created in this mode. And for that, we will first open the Spark shell, then we will create a request for the resources which are the threads and the memory. Then we are going to execute the job in the shell and then finally we are going to monitor the metrics using Spark context web UI. Before moving towards how the PySpark works in local client mode which is the Spark shell, let's first look at the Spark shell help. And for that go to the directory where your Spark is installed and then go to the bin folder and from there you have to open the command prompt so that the command prompt start from that path. Then we have to run the command of PySpark help. You have to write PySpark minus minus help and once you press enter you will see different options for the PySpark. So the PySpark shell gives you lots of options. The master option is used to tell the Spark shell about the cluster manager. We want to use the local and that is the default value. However, in this video, I am going to use three threads. The default star value allows the Spark to create n number of threads depending upon the resource availability. So here I'm going to provide three. Then the next thing that we are going to use in this video is the deploy mode. The deploy mode's default value is client and that's what we want. You have many other options here but let's not dig into them now. But another thing that we need in this video is the memory. Which is this one driver memory. Okay so the default JVM heap size is approximately 1 GB in most cases. In this video, I am going to give it a sum of 2 GB. Now we are all ready to write our Spark shell command. We are going to ask for 3 threads and 2 GB memory. And for that, I am going to write this command here. I am using PySpark and the master tag to define that I need 3 threads and for the driver memory, I am requesting for 2 GB memory. Press enter and you can see that it has executed successfully and we are inside our Spark. So now I am going to execute two commands. Firstly, I am going to use this command in which I am using the data frame object inside which I am reading a CSV file which is present on my local system and I am using the spark to read the file. Press enter and once the command will be executed, the next thing that we are going to do is to display the data which is loaded inside the data frame object using df.show. And once you press enter, you will see all the data which was present inside the patch.csv file. Okay, so Apache Spark is a well-defined system and it generates lots of matrices, logs and other information to monitor and investigate things about your application. You can see some of it via Spark context web UI and here is the URL. Once you land on the page, you will see a timeline. The Spark started and executor driver is added. Here you do not see the drivers and the executor separately because we are in the local cluster and everything is running inside a single JVM. And JVM is a combination of driver and executors and that's what we see here which is just a single process. Okay, so since we asked for three threads and here once you click on the executors tab you can see that all we have is one driver and three cores and that is the number of our threads. So this means that Spark has successfully executed our command to grant us three cores and two GB memory out of which only 912.3 MB is used. But the two GB was defined for the overall execution of the JVM. So this is how you can use the PySpark in a local client mode using the Spark shell. That is all for this video. Thank you.